If you have an LLC or an S Corp in the United States, write this date, January 1st, 2024 down right now. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. It is for free, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, flare truckers, flare truckers, what I got for y'all today, y'all might want to pay a little bit of attention. All of y'all that got small businesses, owner operators, even if you're not into trucking, you might want to send this out to some of your family members, friends, loved ones, and let them know, man, some new changes coming along, some new laws that they just passed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get into this. I saw it over on TikTok. And um, I don't remember the young lady's channel, who I uh, 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 TikTok, who I got it from. I don't remember her name. I'll try to find it. If I find it, I'll leave it in the description. But some changes coming. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems like they're taking more and more, more and more power. But uh, it's called a BOI, uh, Beneficial Ownership Information. It got to be submitted by January the 1st, depending on when you started your S Corp or your LLC. So if you own an LLC or if you own an S Corp or incorporated, you might want to pay attention and listen up. I'll come back after the video and I'll let you know because it, do, it does have some... Uh, people who are exempt from this. There is a new requirement, a federal requirement that you need to complete a BOI. It is a beneficial ownership information report and it is new. And what you are going to provide is information about your business, your business key details and the business ID number. And then anyone who owns 25% or more of that business is required to provide their name, their address, their date of birth, a government issued ID like a passport or a driver's license and an image of that document. So this is estimated that it's going to impact about 32.6 million business owners and the fines for not doing it are really, really steep. You can be penalized up to $500 a day for a maximum of $10,000 for not filing. They are doing this to prevent money laundering and fraud, but you need to make sure to mark this date down and complete the form so that you are in compliance. If you have an LLC or an S Corp in the United States, write this date, January 1st, 2024 down right now. So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this new BOI. Let me know what y'all think about it. But the people who are exempt, this is what it says for the, for the ones that's, that's exempt. This is what it says. It says the CTA provides a list of 23 exempted entities, including, but not limited to, broker dealers, insurance companies, banks, and tax exempt organizations. Importantly, businesses and employ more than 20 employees on a full-time basis in the United States and demonstrates more than 5 million in gross receipts or sales are also exempt from the BOI reporting. So those are the people who are exempt from it. So if you fall under those categories, you won't have to send in this filing. But for those who don't fall under this, you will have to send in the uh, these filings. So if you know somebody who got a small business and may not know about this, Send this video out to them. Let me know what y'all think. Hit me in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, and make sure you share. Until next time, Runaway Child, and we are out. Yes. What y'all want to do, man? Y'all want to let go? Let's go.